In this video, we're going to understand something called a velocity selector. Now, a velocity, a velocity selector is uh, it's exactly what it sounds like. Okay, it's a device that can choose a certain velocity of charged particles that you so desire. Now, how it works is that it creates two fields, right? Uh, an electric field, as you can see over here, right? So I've applied a potential difference across a pair of parallel plates like so and so you can probably see that the electric field is making its way downwards like this and i have a magnetic field that's going into the plane of this screen over here and so i what i have i have two perpendicular fields let's call this e the electric field strength and b the magnetic flux density of these fields so suppose i have a particle over here coming in at some velocity v and I have this little uh, thing over here with a tiny little hole. And so the only way for this particle to emerge from this velocity selector is to pass through the entire thing undeflected like so. Now, as the particle enters, let's assume it's a positive charge. It would experience an electric force in the downward direction. Right, because the electric force on a positive charge is in the same direction as the uh, electric field. However, it would experience a magnetic force using our Fleming's left hand uh, left hand rule. Right, second finger points into the page, third finger points to the right. You'll see that the magnetic force F B points upwards like so. And so, the only way to remain undeflected and therefore pass through the velocity selector is for f e to equal to f b in magnitude so breaking this down okay we know that the electric force can be represented as q times the electric field strength and we know that the magnetic force is v q v cancelling the q's we have v equals to e over b where v is what you can think of as the selected velocity so if your particles have this velocity and this velocity alone they will be the ones who will pass through the velocity selector undeflected and they'll be emerging on this side and so let's see what happens if your velocity is too fast or too high and so if your velocity is too high what's going to happen you'll notice that the magnetic force depends on the velocity, but the electric force does not. And so if V is greater than V selected, then FB will be greater in magnitude than FE. And you will start to deflect in the direction of FB. And so you'll end up doing something like that. And you may not be able to emerge from the selector. Similarly, if the velocity is slower than the velocity selected, then the opposite happens. Fb is less than Fe in magnitude, and you will def uh, deflect in the direction of Fe, and again, you will not be able to emerge from the velocity selector. And so, in summary, by choosing the values of E and V, you can, um, you can select or you can control the velocity that you want your particles to have, or at least those that come out undeflected.